So I've made a few games, but I realized all of them have one thing in common. They're all 3D. I've never actually tried to make a 2D game. That's because of one thing. Art. Trust me when I say, I'm definitely not an artist. But today, I have to become one. Because I'm being forced against my will to make It'll just be a fun challenge. So I accepted my own challenge, but I'm kind of scared to see how things are going to turn out. To start things off, I decided to go with pixel art as the style of the game, and I began making the player what you're going to control. Long story short, it did not go so well, but after 4.28 tries, I made something that resembles a player. You might be thinking, so what is this game even about? The idea is an infinite zombie wave shooter that has a ton of different upgrades you can get, like explosive ammo. You'll see all the other upgrades as the video goes on. I want the game to take place in a forest, so I need some kind of nature. I made some more pixel fart, and thankfully, I didn't struggle to make some basic grass. I mean, it's just a few slightly darker green pixels, but it looks pretty grassy, so it'll work. So this forest has no trees, which is pretty weird, so I made some trees, but the recording blacked out, so it just looks like I'm moving my mouse around a blank screen. I promise I did not go crazy, the recording just blacked out. Then I started to make the player able to move and shoot because that seems like a pretty cool feature. Turns out, the shooting mechanic actually requires some difficult math that I don't understand, but a tutorial helped me to keep my sanity. The next thing to do is actually add zombies to fight, so I made pixel art for the zombie and then did some code stuff to make it chase the player. I had to spend the next forever making a ton of colliders just so the player and the zombie can't walk through the trees. I'm sure there's gotta be a better way to do this, but that's how I did it. Now it's time to add the core mechanic into the game, the wave system. Originally, I thought of some overcomplicated way to handle how many enemies spawn each wave, but my brain started to hurt, so I just went with multiplying the wave number by 3 and that's how many enemies spawn. This is great and all, but the game actually looks terrible. I have to fix the lighting or something. So yeah, I fixed the lighting and it totally looks really good now. That's the end of the video, thanks for watching. Nah, I'm just kidding, but I did manage to make the game look a bit better though, this is what I got. The next thing I did was make a money system so the player could buy things in a shop that I'll be making later. I also made a crate that the player can shoot and it'll either drop a med kit or some money. I'm a professional spaghetti coder, but I want that to change. So I forced myself to watch some videos about organizing everything better, and this may be able to easily add 4 guns to the game without repeating a ton of code. I added a pistol, AK, shotgun, and minigun. You're gonna start with the pistol, but you'll be able to buy other guns with money. I also made some more enemy types like a fast zombie and a big zombie. These enemy types will spawn in the later waves. So I've mentioned the shop, and now it's time to actually make it. It will hold all the guns, upgrades, and cool stuff for the player to buy with the money that they have. I tried to make the shop, but there was a problem. The UI looked awful. I had to watch some YouTube videos to make the shop look better because I've always been pretty bad at making the UI. It was definitely worth it because it looks a lot better now. Then I made a bunch of icons for the shop upgrades, and the shotgun icon definitely took a few tries to look decent. I realized the game is kind of easy, so which one of these things do you think I added to make the game harder? I added a stamina mechanic. Before, the player could just sprint all they want, but now there's a limit, so the player will have to stop sprinting to regain their stamina. The player must have asthma because he can only sprint for a couple seconds, but you'll be able to upgrade the stamina in the shop. One thing that'll make this game look and feel better to play is some particle effects. I'm sure you know about Unity's particle system by now, and it really does add a bunch to the game feel. So, remember when I said I made 4 guns? Well, I made the guns, but I didn't actually make the art for them yet. So right now, all the guns are just cubes. I went in to make some pixel art for the guns, and they all look pretty good, except for one. Yeah, that's supposed to be an AK. That's a 10 out of 10 drawing right there. I had to take a couple hours to do some boring backend stuff to make the shop work when you try to buy something, but I got it all working and I'm Phew. glad that's over. I think this game needs some spice to it, so I thought of a new type of weapon to add. Explosive. I made some bomb pixel art, put it into my game, and made a particle effect when a bomb blows up. The player will be able to buy bombs in the shop and then throw them at the zombies to deal big area splash damage. I also made an upgrade to buy explosive ammo for all your guns, and it's pretty cool so I'm glad I thought of it. Then I made an upgrade that shortens reload time by half, and one that doubles your magazine size. I took a quick break to do a typing test because it just randomly popped into mind, and then I thought of a new enemy type to add which is one that will throw something at you. Adding this again requires some difficult math stuff, but worth it because it creates variety. So I've made a good portion of this game now, but it still has absolutely no audio. But I think audio is overrated, so my game doesn't need it. Nah, I'm just kidding. The first audio I added is for UI clicking, and then I added gunshot sounds for all the guns, and a bunch of other sounds as well. I say added because I'm getting all the sounds from this website called freesound.org. Yeah, I don't think making the sounds is necessary when I could just find better ones online. 
The game is almost done, but I still need to make the main menu. I thought of having a video in the background of the main menu to show some gameplay before the player actually starts playing. This is originally what the main menu looked like, but I redesigned it to look like this. And then I added a couple custom cursors, because the default one didn't really fit into the scene. Then I made a death menu for when a player dies, and I made it very descriptive. If you want to be included in the credits for this game as a supporter, check out the link in the description. So yeah, that's it, my first 2D game. If you want to test the game, the link to play is in the description. If you're interested in me becoming your video editor, also check another link in the description. And before you leave, you should click on one of the videos that is on screen now.